Hi guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Um, how are you? TGIF guys, we made it. <laughs> I'm gonna plug in my heat press. I'm gonna use my Cricut heat press to set this. We're gonna use ink and do our doormat finally. <laughs> this this is gonna be kind of a process because um, I am going. To, I wanted to make it unique. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of people doing the Christmas ones. Well, Christmas is over. Darlene didn't get it done in time. So I'm going to do one for spring and for every day, basically. Um, and I really was thinking that I wanted to do howdy because um, that's just kind of me. Um, instead of welcome or help. I don't know, maybe hello would be cute. I here, here's what I'm trying to decide. Okay, so I'm going to do the sunflower, which means that I have to do all of the outline in black, and then I go in and I paint all the inside, which um, it's just a, a tedious process, but I want to do it, and I have time. Um, I'm not in a rush today, so I was thinking I can either do hello and do a sunflower on each side, maybe even howdy. Let's cut these apart and see. Um, what would fit you guys help me decide help me decide if I should just do one sunflower on one side or do a sunflower on both sides um, It would be a lot of labor doing both sides, but I'm kind of thinking I just want to do howdy um, and then a sunflower but um, The sunflower is an older transfer they actually had it in, um, you know this kit right here, the Noel one? They had it in that kit recently. Um, and so I snagged it out of one of those kits because I'm going to use this for something else. So I sna snagged it out there. But I have I have one in my drawer somewhere. Um, somewhere. So I'm just going to cut these all apart. I am thinking, um, I also like Hey Howdy. But I think I think that maybe just howdy and then the sunflower, and I'm not sure if I should do it at an angle. Um, it's upside down to me right now. Um, or hello. What do you guys think? Welcome's too long to put with this, so we're not doing welcome. If you wanted to do welcome, you could do welcome right in the center. So these are the mats that um, I got this mat from Home Depot. Okay. Uh, this is the one that I posted recently. Anyways, if you're watching, just say hello. This is probably going to be a long one. <laughs> and I I had to, um, I'm hoping that I stay live. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because I am hot spotting all of these cameras off of one phone. So I am hoping that it doesn't go in and out. Um, I don't know how the reception is going to be. Um, I am struggling with this. So let me just make sure I am even live. Um, if you're watching, just say hello. It's it's a struggle. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, I can see comments. Okay. Um, yeah, the mat, I posted the link for you guys. Oh, gosh. It's not coming up on my phone. Why not? Um, come on. I'm not even showing myself yet. Um, yeah, it, I'm struggling with this because I'm hot spotting off of one phone. I had no internet. And so my phone that really doesn't have internet, it just goes off of the satellite um it's giving it's i'm hot spotting to everything else okay so i'm kind of thinking um i'm kind of thinking hello our neighborhood um i could do either how do you how do you appropriate for my neighborhood <laughs> so i wonder if i can find i'm gonna have to wash that transfer because I'm wondering if I can quickly find another one so I don't have to wash it. Probably not. I probably cannot easily find another one from last year. Um, it probably would take me a while to do that. <laughs> so, so I'll be washing that transfer. So what I'll be, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the outline, and then I'm going to paint in the yellow and the green and the brown, and then I'm going to go back um, and I'll heat press in between. So I'll heat press with the black outline. And then I'll color it in with, I'll paint it in, and then um, I'll go back and I'll do the black. Um, so I'm going to heat set, the flower will be heat, heat set three times. And I'm going to just do hello or howdy in black. So um, just help me out there. What do you think I should do? <laughs> I 
love the sunflower too. I think it's going to be cute on there. I think it's going to be cute. Um, let me see here. Let me see who's here. I, okay, there it is. I finally got it to come up on my phone. Finally. So I know it might be a, might be a problem today. I'm sorry if it's going in and out. I cannot do anything about that. I have zero Wi-Fi. Um, <laughs> I don't have any. I'm I'm lucky that I'm able to go live this morning. So, <laughs> oh gosh, thank thank you, Doris, my sister. Thank you, thank you. I did get um, recognition as in the top four percent of creators, which is awesome to get that recognition. I love that, and it's because of you guys. <laughs> it's because of all the interaction with you guys. So, if you're watching, just say hello. We made it to Friday. We are almost to Christmas. I've got all of my Christmas gifts. Um, uh, purchased. <laughs> some of them are still coming, you know, and some of them I got from Amazon or Target and they're still on their way. So, um, hopefully nothing happens with that. Otherwise I'm going to print out a picture and that's what the person will get. <laughs> and I have everything mailed. So, um, all presents, all presents have been taken care of. Just need to wrap stuff and all of that. So hi Betty. How are you? Hi Mary Lee. Hi Cheryl. Hi Doris, my sister. Hi, Lori. Hi, Deborah. Good morning, Bridget. Um, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Deb. Um, hi, Sarah. Hi, Pam. TGIF. Um, off, on and off, too. Yeah, sorry, guys. Hi, Betty. It's my internet, for sure. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, hi, Lori. Hi, Tony. Hi, Denise. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I knew it would be glitching. I knew that. So hopefully once it's done, it will not do that once it once the um the replay. So I just do what I think just one also. Yeah, I think you're right. So hey Chris, how are you? Um hi Sandy, hi Melissa, good morning, Carol. Um all the all the words and then um so one word. I'm not gonna do all the words. I think all the words is too much, guys. I think it's all too much. So um, one word and one flower. Um, hi, Sandy. How are you? Good morning, guys. Okay, so which should I do? Hello? I kind of think it's just hello. Um, I kind of like hello, but I do like howdy. You know what? Let's do howdy. That's kind of how my neighborhood is howdy. Um, yeah, my signal is not good. No, nope, not at all. I don't have any signal. I have zero, Lori. <laughs> I don't have any Wi-Fi. I am going off the, off the satellite. So um, zero Wi-Fi today. Yeah, and on my phone, it's okay. Um, yeah, you might have to come back and watch. Yeah, everybody's having problems. Yeah, it's going to freeze. Absolutely going to freeze. So I'm still going to do it because the, the replay will be fine. So we're just going to keep going. Yeah, it's, it's going to be that way. So, <laughs> yeah, it is just that way. So sorry, guys. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. That is just the way it is today. All right. Okay. Let's just do this. Maybe it'll get better. <laughs> Maybe it'll get better. Who knows? All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it because there's nothing I can do about the Wi-Fi. I have zero Wi-Fi. And here's what I'm thinking is we're going to do howdy. And so I can, I can actually upload the whole video after too. And I could do a voiceover if I need to, if it's that bad. All right. So I'm going to do all this in black and we'll heat set it. And then I have to go in and I have to color it. So if you guys can't stand the freezing, that's okay. Yeah, freezing away for a signal. Absolutely. Yep. Um, it's okay. Just turn the volume down. Just watch. Just watch. <laughs> there, there's nothing I can do if I go to reset it because I don't have Wi-Fi at all today. So, all right. So go ahead and peel your transfer off and put it onto your doormat. And then we're going to ink. So there's something I have to tell you. You have to be careful because this is not forgiving. Okay. So I don't have a lot of space with my ink. I'm going to just, I'm just going to be really careful. Okay. So I don't have space to put all this here. So I have to really just watch myself. Okay. Um, hi, Linda. How are you? Yeah. Going in and out. Yeah. Interrupted. Absolutely. So if you have to come back and watch it later, it will be here for you. So sorry about that. It is just the way it is. That is sometimes life is that way. <laughs> 
and I it took me 20 minutes to just be able to hook every everything up to um, I'm on a hot spot with my phone so that I could even go live so yep 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 all right so we're gonna do everything in black and then we'll come back and we'll paint we'll paint this in and we have to heat set in between so I need to I need to um, get this set so that let me turn on my heat press so it can be heating up all right okay all right got that on okay so I'm gonna take my black and like I said if you can't stand the glitching if you can't stand uh, the stop wait or stop, stop go stop go with with the words um, turn down turn off your volume or just come back and watch the replay it's you know it will be fine with the replay okay I'm gonna take my ink yeah I know I know it keeps buffering I know that um, you guys don't have to keep telling me <laughs> It's, I know, I know it's going to do that. So, um, I know absolutely going to do that. So I, I just have to keep going because it will record my video. So it will record my video and I can do a voiceover if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. So just take your ink and make sure that you do not get it on the outside of the transfer. Make sure that you are just covering the areas that are the open areas and not going crazy because it's not going to come off if I make a mistake if I drop some on there <laughs> it is not going to come off yep so anyways yeah it's a Friday for sure <laughs> we made it to Friday but it's just having an issue and I'm sorry I know I can always go back I can do another one of these later if I need to um th this would be fun to give one as a gift I think, I think this one, I think I'm going to really like this one. And I would like to do these at the craft shows because guess what? Um, it's pretty impressive to do ink because people think, oh, you can make signs, but they really don't realize that you can also do ink. Okay. I'm going over everything twice. I'm going to, I need to get a paper towel for my stuff here. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, go out and come back in. See if it see if it works or just come back and watch later. It's fine. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> there is nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Um okay, so I just want to make sure I got everything covered. It looks good. Maybe the corner, maybe just a little bit more on the corner right there. Yeah. Sorry for all the issues, but you know what? I, I can't really do anything about it. I worked on it for 25 minutes just to go live. <laughs> that looks really good. Look how nice and sharp that is. I love how our transfers are. I'm hoping that I can do that with the sunflower. Okay, so then just plop this onto your backer sheet. These do need to be washed um, within a reasonable amount of time because that ink will dry on it permanently. And watch your fingers. Make sure your fingers don't have anything on them. Okay. Um, yep, it is on and off. Yeah. Um, unwatchable. That's that's fine. Um, I understand. <laughs> I totally understand. So just um, come back and watch the replay. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to do all this in black. And I oh know. It's, it's unfortunate that it's that way. I'll, I'll redo the whole thing if I need to, but I'm just going to keep going because I know how it is at the end. Um, once it's all done, it normally is just fine, but um, I have zero internet right now. So I am just going with my Wi-Fi off of one phone um, that I don't have Wi-Fi. I just have the satellite. So I have everything connected, but yeah, it's going to do that. It's going to do that. So sorry about that. All right. Go ahead and, but it is going to record my video. So that's something that I can always fast forward it. I can always add um, a voiceover. So I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I didn't have time to keep fiddling with it because it just wasn't working. It just wasn't. So, okay. So now I'm going to make sure that I got everything on here. And i um, going to peel up 
and we're going to go back and we're going to paint it in and then we'll come back and we'll redo the black okay so i have to basically it's like i'm making a coloring page okay i'm going to slide this up i do have to wash this i'm going to wash this right now so it can be drying okay so i do have to wash this i i do have Clorox wipes i'm probably not going to spray it with water because the fact that it will go the ink will go everywhere so i'm just going to use my Clorox wipes and try to clean it that way really quickly Yeah, it's, it's sad when that happens. I don't know. Maybe they're working on something. Maybe there was an accident this morning. And it's hard to know. It is hard to know what is going on and why there's an issue. But, um, yeah, come back and watch the, the replay. Yeah, I, no, it's okay. Totally understand. I will just, I'll do like, I can do fast forward. I can do voiceover. Nothing I can do about it. So I just want to keep going with it. Totally understand if you guys need to just come back. All right. Okay, I'm going to spray it with water just a little bit to get it clean. And then um, I will let it dry. So, because we'll need this again. So we're gonna we're gonna paint it in. And I might just have to do something fast forward with this. You know, I mean, sometimes it doesn't work out. So I could go back later tonight and I could do another one. I know I'm looking at my phone and it's and it's stalling for like 10 or 15 seconds at a time. <laughs> you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I'll, I'll go reset my, my modem again, see if that helps. But right now at the moment, this is all I can do. Because it, it will record it to my iPad. So that's the good thing. Okay, so we're getting this clean because we're going to need it again because we're going to use it for the outline. All right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to set it on over here. I think it's pretty dry, but I'm going to set it over here to con continue to dry. Okay, so now we need to... We need to dry this with our heat gun, and then we need to heat press that, okay? So um, I need to be really careful not to be touching anything. Um, just ink your first arm out. Yeah, it seems really easy. It does seem pretty easy. Okay, um, this doormat is perfect because it is nice and smooth. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's dry, and then we're going to heat set it. So I am going to be careful and not heat set the rubber part, okay? So I'm going to make sure that I am not um, not getting the heat press on the rubber part. Why does it sound weird? <laughs> this is not even sounding normal. It sounds like it's going in and out. It's probably because of the heat press. Probably. Alright. So you want it to be dry. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to heat set it. Hi, Karen, how are you? Yes, using ink for sure. Yeah, definitely use ink. Um, ink is permanent. So, ink has to be heat set. So, I'm going to actually grab parchment paper because um, I don't want to get my Teflon sheet, um, have ink on it in case this isn't all the way dry. Okay, so... I'm going to grab parchment paper. This thing is from Costco. I have a great big thing of it. It's lasted me years. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it over the top of it, and then I'm going to heat set this with my heat press. I have my heat press set to 305, just like I would with t-shirts. And so I'm assuming that's going to be okay. 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping it doesn't burn this. <laughs> gonna press this. I'm gonna do it for 30 seconds. Um, I'm just gonna go back and forth because I don't think it quite covers all of that. Um, I think it's not quite to the edge on the word. So happy birthday, Karen. Sorry guys for it being glitchy. Hopefully it will stop. It may not. It may not be that it may be that way the whole time. So you have to do it for 30 seconds twice. Okay, so press it again. I'm just gonna keep going and then we'll see how it is. We have to do the outline. So we're gonna do the outline, then we're gonna paint it in, and then we're gonna come back and redo the outline. So all right, almost there. It's counting down for me. <laughs> it should be good. It should be good. So you can use an iron. If you don't have a heat press, you can definitely use an iron. Okay, so now I'm going to do the flower. There's a flower under here. Let's turn it this way. I think that it'll cover it. Okay, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to check this and see if it's sticky. If it's still sticky, then that means I need to do it again. It is not sticky. It feels like it is permanent. It is permanently there, guys. Yeah, so it is not coming off. So our ink is permanent once it's heat set, which is great. Um, um, not fuzzing, um, not fuzzing what? The transfer? Um, you would, no, you would never fuzz the transfer when you put it down onto here. So um, you definitely don't fuzz the transfer when you're putting it, um, using it on fabric. Um, this is basically like fabric. So it is fabric. It, it's, a, it's a form of fabric. <laughs> so, well, we wish we could be there to give you some birthday hugs. Hope you have a wonderful day. I know it's kind of hard having it so close to Christmas. Okay, we're almost done with that. Okay, so I think it's probably ready to start painting it. Okay, so now I need to paint all that in. I'm going to paint in, and I don't want to do it thick. Okay, let me find a place for this. Not on top of my my transfer. Okay, so, um, okay, yeah, so it is done. So now I just need to paint it in. So when I paint it in, you're going to go, oh, that doesn't look good. Well, it's going to look just fine once it's painted in. Now we'll go back and we'll do all of the, um, the details. So I'm going to start with some yellow, and then we'll do... Um, our brown. It might take a while, guys. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you might be stuck on here with me for a little while. And I'm not going to do it really solid. Um, I want it to be pretty light. Um, you could wash, you could water this down and have it be like a, um, a watercolor if you want to. Yeah. So, um, yeah, when you're putting a transfer down onto a t-shirt or onto any type of fabric like a towel, you do not fuzz your transfer. You just stick it directly onto um, the item so that it sticks really tightly. So fuzzing it is used for when you you want to um, you want to make sure that it's not going to stretch. It's not going to stretch on this. It's going to peel up just fine. Okay, so I'm just coloring all this in. If you want to add some other colors in there, you can. We're really limited on our ink, but guys, you can mix your colors, okay? So you can mix your colors. You can water this down. Um, this one is Bumblebee. I wish we had all sorts of colors of ink. We don't, you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> you would have to use tape around it. Um, I think you wouldn't be able to use tape around this. It would be too much. There's... There, yeah, it, this is, ink is really thick. This ink is really thick. So I'm just using a little bit and I'm using, I'm actually using a watercolor brush and I'm going towards the center. The center is going to be brown. I'll do some brown next. I'm making sure I'm not dragging my hand through it because you know how us lefties are. Lefties can be terrible. So is it still lagging? I'm really sorry, guys. It's, gosh, you know, I really don't, I, internet issues are the worst. It's just not fun. It is not fun. 
Okay, so it's starting to look a little muddy because you can go over those edges. You do not have to worry about staying inside the line when you're inside this area. Stay inside the line up here on the outside border, of course. But inside the flower, you don't have to worry because guess what? You're going to redo that black. Um, you're Right now, you're just coloring all that in. And... Um, you can use other colors in here. If I wanted to add some browns to this, which I probably, I'm gonna add brown to the center and then I'll probably pull some of that out. Um, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. I am so happy with whoever shared their, their doormat, um, the, the very first one. Oh my gosh, I don't know who did, but somebody did on our designer studios. Somebody shared their doormat and it was fabulous. And I looked at it, I'm like, I'm gonna make one. And I ordered them, I've had these, in the other room, um, in my other storage room for, I don't know, maybe two months, just waiting for a time when I could do this and when I was inspired to know what I wanted to do. But when I saw the new transfer that had the howdy and the hey and the hello, I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. Cause, and you know what? This is so fun to have something custom. Oh, here comes a puppy. Hi, puppy. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Miss Chloe. Chloe, you can't come up here today. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm a little bit busy. Okay, I want to make sure I get everything colored in. Um, okay, so this is Bumblebee. Let's do some brown. Let me grab another brush and I'm going to try to find a place to put that. There we go. Okay. Um, the mat is from the mat is from Home Depot. It's the one that I posted the other day. So if you go back to my page, um, the link is there and you will see it. So it's the one that I posted and I said, hey guys, we're going to be doing this later on in the week. Um, so a lot of people, they, they went and they grabbed one. So it's from Home Depot. So if you go back to my page, you'll see the link that, sh that shows you exactly where to grab it from. I mean, I actually gave you the link to Home Depot to actually click on it and order it right there. <laughs> so, so it is there for you. I can try to find it again. It's just, I was trying to make it easy. Okay, so the brown just covered the brown, the center with brown. I might pull some of that out. Um, like I could pull some of it out to, to the yellow um, and kind of mix that a little bit right there. So that kind of blends together. Okay, we're doing good though. Look at that. We're doing good. Okay, let's do some more flower. I think it's going to be super cute. Yeah, Home Depot. Home Depot has them. Thank you for typing it because you may not be able to hear me. So I know that it's a problem. <laughs> I know that the internet is not being kind today and I am having to go. Um, I am on a hotspot on my phone. I'm on a hotspot with all my other devices. I have three devices. And it did say it was on low power. So that means that, hey, it's not going to give you the the quality that I really need to have. But generally on the replay, it's fine. And also the other thing that I can do is I can put it into a video and do a voiceover. So I can speed it up. I can do a voiceover. I just want to get this documented for you guys. And today, oh gosh, um... We, we, I think we're done with the rush. We are done with our Christmas rush with all of our orders. You guys ordered a bazillion things yesterday again. So um, Tara got all those cut out right before um, she left. She finished the last order and I delivered it to the post office. So all orders are on their way to you guys. And um, all of my, all of my Etsy orders too. So I was all caught up yesterday. I have three orders in there is all, which is great. So I can do some of my holiday baking today. I can get presents wrapped. <laughs> I can get my house organized for Christmas breakfast. We have all the kiddos over, kiddos and grandkids over for Christmas breakfast. And, um, and then we open presents. We play games, <laughs> open presents, and... We do that, the saran wrap game. That one's always fun. I love that. I start gathering things for, you know, a couple of months before I start setting a few things aside for that. Because it's kind of, you know, some of the things in there are a gag. Some of them are, some of them are good things, you know, money. 
<laughs> there might be a real surprise in there. There might be, there might even be like a $50 bill in there this time. We'll see. We'll see what, how generous I decide to be. Sometimes it's just a dollar here, a dollar there, a $20 bill. But wouldn't that be fun for somebody to get a big bill? I think that would be fun. So anyway, so I'm just painting all this in. Now you can, you can paint with our ink, just like with the paintbrush. I, you know, I need to go back up there. I'm just trying to do a thin coat because guys, you don't want it to be globby. Um, it needs to be really flat. So I'm thinking, you know what? An Easter one would be fine with the bunny that we had last year. That would be super fun. There's a lot of things you could do. A lot of things on here. You could put paw prints. Okay, so now I've got, got almost all the yellow done. I'll pull a little bit more of that brown down into that. Let me just do that with the other brush. <laughs> we'll just pull a little bit more brown down into there. When we go back and we do the black, it's going to pop. It's going to go, it's going to pop. But we have to heat set it in between. Okay, so now I've got my green. So um, let me see. Um, is everybody ready for Christmas? We have three out of six with COVID. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. That is terrible. That is terrible. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so green is our next one. Let me find a smaller brush if I... Well, that one's too small. That one's way too small. Let me see. Oh, here's one. Here's one right here. This one might work. Maybe. Or this one. Let me see. <laughs> I'm trying to find one that... Let me look my drawer. I don't want to have it be too small. This one might... That one might be better. Okay. But I need to do my tiny areas first. Let's do our tiny areas first. And not have a wobble with your hand, Darlene. <laughs> So trying to do it and not, and not be wiggly. There's the stem. So this is pesto. I opened up meadow and meadow was all, meadow was kind of lumpy. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it got cold. I don't even know. But um, I haven't seen ink like that. It had lumps in it. It was kind of weird. <laughs> so hi, Lisa. How are you? Uh, yeah, it is not fun to be sick. For Christmas and it's definitely not fun to have COVID at all ever <laughs> not a fun thing okay so we're just painting we're painting with ink so I did the outline and basically it's like doing a um a coloring page guys is what it's like so you're you're get, doing your outline and then you're coloring it in and then you're gonna do your outline again okay so um it is we are having internet issues I had zero internet I am off the satellite and using a hotspot so for all my devices. So having three devices on hotspotting on one is not ideal. <laughs> but at least I'll be able to capture this and I can always go back and do a fast forward voiceover to show you how to do this. Isn't this cool though? I can't wait to put this at my front door. I'll have to sweep, I'll have to sweep and clean my front door. <laughs> so it's gonna look good though. It's gonna look good. This is a nice quality mat and this should last a long time. Once the ink is on here and it's heat set, it is permanent guys, it is permanent. So um, I would just say choose some good brushes. This one has a really good um, fine end on it so that I can get the details. And if you wanna have other colors of green, I, I might pull out another green and just add a little bit in there just to give it some other colors. I don't have another yellow, so not much I can do with that. Now this is a big leaf, so that I can kind of go, I can do it um, a whole bunch um, at a time. I was trying to do just tiny bits of ink at a time so that I didn't, um, have any big globs and have it um, be too thick because you want to make sure that it's heat set. You have to dry it. You got to dry it with your heat press and then you got to, I mean, sorry, dry it with your heat gun and then, or let it just sit overnight and then you heat set it. 
Okay, so so um, you do want to heat set it for sure. Some people would say, oh, you don't have to heat set. It. You really do need to heat set it. It does. It just changes things. It makes it permanent. Um, oh, you're gonna stay on. <laughs> so good morning, Karen West. How are you? Hi, Lisa. Um, sorry about the internet issues. Hopefully you guys are able to see me. It might, um, it might resolve itself during the video. We've been on 35 minutes now. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. There goes my, <laughs> my parchment paper on the floor. Okay, so the key thing, when you're lining this up, you want to make sure you line it up perfectly so that it's not off. You want to make sure you go right back over the same thing with your transfer. So we're going to, we're going to cover all this back up with the transfer and do all the black again. So right now, it, let me go in a little bit closer for you guys. Um, look at how nice that is. I'll just keep it in like that so it's easier for you guys. All right, and I didn't put myself in the corner because I didn't want to take up part of this. Because I wanted you to be able to see the whole thing and you don't want to see me stay anyways. <laughs> all right, so just use a light touch with this. Um, making sure you're staying inside that outside border. On the inside, you can cover over all those lines because you're going to redo them. All right, so you're going to redo that. And we're going to heat set this, and then we're going to do the black line, the black outlines again. So I think I have some more of these sunflowers. I'll look and see if I do, because this is an older transfer. Um, this transfer came in with one of the kits that they had during the Christmas, um, their Christmas sale. Was it, I, I think that was actually at Thanksgiving time when they had the Black Friday um, kits. I think that it came in, yeah, it did, in the white frame. So it was in with that. But I think I have some. Um, I'm going to be doing a sale soon. So I'll look and see if that's in with that. Okay, I think I got everything covered. Let me just look and see what other green I have. Besides my, my, oh, that's garden herb. No wonder it's old, old. I have this other green that's a different color. Let me just try to grab some of that, the brighter green. This is an old, old color. This is kiwi. Let me just try to grab some of this green and just put, just do a little bit of other color in there. Just give a little bit of highlight here and there. So that I just have a little bit of other color in there. And I might do that with my, I might use my brown to do that on the, um, on the flower. Steady hand, Darlene. Steady hand, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. I think I about got it. About got it, guys. Okay, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth, though. You don't want it to just be on the surface there. You need to make sure it's all painted in and nice and smooth. So I'm blending it in. Okay, there we go. That looks really good. Okay, so this was old, old, old color, like five years ago. All right, let me make sure that I don't want to do anything else. I might want to just put a little bit of brown here and there. I'm going to just pull the brown let me just get a little bit on my brush and let's just pull a little bit of brown through this. Just like when you're dyeing your hair and you pull a little bit of the color through, I just want to pull a little bit of color out. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so let's heat set this. Let me move everything over. Let me move all these brushes out of the way and we have to do our black one more time. Okay, so moving that. Let's, let's dry this and we'll heat set that. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I love this. Absolutely love it. Um, okay, I'm going to take my heat gun and let's dry. This might take a little bit longer to dry. So I think I'm going to start doing my baking today. I'll finish everything up tomorrow. I'll do, I need to um, wrap some presents. I have a little bit of bookkeeping to do this morning had some issues that our IT person had to log in and make some fixes on my computer yesterday. So I was not able to have access the entire day. Sounds like it's cutting out. I bet it's because of the heat press. 
All right, so we need to heat set this and then we can do the black over it. I just wanna make sure it's all heat set so that it doesn't stick to my transfer. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take our, our parchment paper, I'm gonna cover that up. We've already done this. This is all done. It feels normal. It is, it's completely solid. Okay, so gonna take our heat press, gonna heat set it twice for 30 seconds. All right, there we go. So it's just gonna count down. This is a Cricut heat press. You can use an iron. If, if you were using an iron, I would just set it about medium heat. I wouldn't have it hot, hot. I would have it about medium. So that's gonna probably be your best bet with, with um, an iron. And if you want, with an iron, you're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth like that. So, all right, one more time. And then we'll do the black and we'll heat set that and it'll be done, guys. Your torture will be over. <laughs> so, I know, I know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes internet just doesn't cooperate, you know? it. We don't always get what we want. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, so this is the big um, Cricut heat press. If you're going to get one, I would suggest getting the big one like this because it covers a big area. So this is how, how much of an area. There's the square one too. I started with the square one and I kind of wore it out. Okay, I'm going to check it and see if it's sticky. You don't want it to be sticky. Now, there was, you know, painting it, it's a little bit thicker. So it actually is still sticky. Let's do it one more time then. Okay, so it's it's sticky right here on that side. So I'm going to, I'm going to heat press it one more time. And then we do have to let it kind of cool before we put um, the, other, the transfer on it. So you can't stick your transfer onto a hot surface or it will heat up the adhesive. And guess what happens then? The adhesive no longer works because it sticks onto the hot surface. So um, you definitely want to watch that for sure. Okay, this is this is the boring part. So if you guys are wanting to become um, a chocotour designer like me and you're thinking, gosh, I want to get a discount, I want to do all the things, um, just send me a message and I'll send you all the information. I mean, I, I really do not push the business I just love to show you guys how to create. So um, you do not have to ever sell. Okay, it's a little sticky, but guess what? I think it's going to be fine once we heat set it with the with the the last one with the black. Okay, so let's let's kind of lift this up a little bit. If I lift this up, maybe, and I can smell the rubber. <laughs> it is hot under here, guys. That that is going through all the way to my to my thing. So let's get this a little bit cool before we stick the transfer on it. And that's hot for my hand. So usually I would stick my hand on it and it was and it pulls out the heat. It is hot for my hand to stick that on there. Um, it's gonna look really great once we do the black on there. But hang on for a second because we can't stick it on something hot. Okay, so let me just maybe go like this. <laughs> let me just fan it for a second. Maybe that will help. Yeah. Okay, and I can't believe I haven't made any oopsies, and I shouldn't even say that because guess what? Darlene is, Darlene's one that makes little messes. Okay, it's almost there. Guys, it's still pretty hot, but let me just do that one more time. I think that really helped. Okay, so you could do the hello, um, howdy, welcome. Welcome really didn't fit on here with the flower. If you wanted to center it and put, put the welcome, um, you could. Okay, now the key is to get this to line up really well. So here's the thing, guys. These aren't see-through like our new ones. So it's more of a struggle to get it to line up perfectly. But I'm going to try my hardest to get it to be exact. All right. So I'm going to try to get it lined up exactly the way that it was so I can do the black over it. Okay. So I'm going to try to be patient and get it lined up okay it's looking good it's almost there it's almost there almost there almost there i don't want it to be off um okay
I think it needs to go over just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. If it's off just a touch, it's probably not gonna matter. Okay, so now we just need to do the black again. So it's gonna pop, okay? So are you ready for it? I'm gonna go in a little bit closer. And I'm going to just try to pull this down just a little bit. Let me put this in here and let's pull this down just a little bit so you can see better. Um, the yellow is butter is um, bumblebee. The yellow is bumblebee. So this is all ink. We only have one yellow. So um, yeah, it is bumblebee. Okay, so then I'm going to take my, my squeegee that I had before. Make sure there's nothing on your hands.